welcome to tech city this is uh, part 8 of uh, react for beginners in this part 8 we'll discuss about context api as you all know that the react application is uh, dependent on components so to send uh, the components uh, that is uh, to send the properties or the states across the components you will have to pass the props across it like sometimes we will end up sending the props through the through some components in between where those props or the states are not used in this way it becomes a very complicated affair to overcome this uh, uh, complexity of uh, sending props across the context api has been uh, designed actually this context api is not very new but however it is released uh, for public use from uh, uh, react after 16.3 before this the people used to use redux and uh, however this context api is not totally a replacement for redux but the it does handle some of the state managements of uh, redux so in this uh, we will tutorial will discuss about this context api here i am on the one small application and this application contains an input text box and a submit button in fact this input text box comes from one component which is inside the form component this is a form which you can see here this is a whole total form this is input text box is coming from the uh, text component this is a form component and this form component is inside the app component so thus passing the states from the parent down to the grandchild like for example from the i'll show here i'll come to the visual studio code this code and anyway uh, i will uh, code all this freshly uh, from the beginning from the beginning i'll uh, from the beginning that is not a worry uh, just i'm for the sake of introduction i'm just showing it here i am on a app.js file which is the main component and in this main component uh, you can see here uh, sorry this is a uh, here this app.js file this is the app.js file this is the main component inside this we can see that there is a form element here form component which has been which is inside it this form element in this is a form uh, component this form element contains this text component here so and all these uh, states are declared the states are declared in only context app and app.js i am not passing these properties from text to form form to app uh, and thus uh, i am not setting a states here instead i am declaring all the states inside a context api and call those states wherever i need and this makes uh, the application very simpler and uh, uh, easy to manage now with this brief introduction i will uh, i'll show this application also how it works here this application when i write something here you can see here text city it writes here text city and uh, for uh, on change uh, uh, event is inside this uh, uh, input uh, component that is text component and the submit uh, form is inside a form component when i press this it alerts it instead of submitting it have some form so it said is alerting uh, text city here and also you can see this uh, text city whatever i write here uh, it writes down so this what we will be developing with the help of uh, three components and one more context uh, app context uh, uh, api now i'll come back to visual studio code uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll open my browser and go to this component folder and delete the what all i have written i'll start coding from the beginning and also uh, this app.js file this is app.js i'll take out the, all the code i start writing from the beginning and app.css is there and app.css uh, this one i'll import into app.js so i'll just show you this uh, i'm not deleting this as of now anyway so what i'll do is uh, i'll go to uh, src folder here plus uh, uh, new create a new folder called compo any nts components inside the components i will create a file called context huh? Uh, context.js hmm? and i'll create two more files here that is uh, uh, text.js hmm? then one more i'll call it as form.js so these are the files i created this i'll open the context.js here and i will uh, start writing the code 
So here in the context, uh, I'll not write this now for you. I'll start from the beginning here. Huh? So I'll say import import uh, React from okay React. Hmm? This what is my first statement. Then I will say export hmm? const. I'm exporting const app context equal to React React dot create context. Hmm? I am exporting this. Then I'll create a class, and this class I will say app provider app provider extends hmm, react dot component. Hmm. This I am inside here. Hmm. Fine. Inside this, I write my first method render render, and I will return. I will return. What I'll return is app context dot provider actually the app dot context what i'm writing it has got uh, two things one is a provider and other one is consumer as i am this context js here i'm uh, creating a provider and all those consumers will be this uh, uh, text dot js and form dot js will be actually consumers hmm? this is a provider so here uh, here app context dot provider fine so here Inside this, uh, I will uh, this dot props dot children. Hmm? This is a prop, and this will uh, value equal to. Hmm? Did I mistake here? Value here. This will be containing uh, one more uh, object. That right now I'll put it as uh, three dots and this dot state i'll say hmm. and what all methods i will say here uh, i will go on adding them hmm. here uh, and uh, what the methods i'm planning to write i'll say only that is form text is a sorry method is set text all the uh, methods i'm writing here and only in this hmm. Hmm. all the methods i'm declaring those methods here inside this uh, equal to this i write those method here set text set mm, submit this equal to this dot set submit hmm? so there are there is a state and there are two methods here these things i'll start writing here hmm? so the first one is i write a state hmm? state State uh, not here. I, have I should write it outside. Uh, here, sorry. State equal to come down here. That is the first one is form form text is a state. This I'll give a hmm, initial text. This will be displayed inside the text box. Hmm. Then uh, that's it. Then I'll uh, write these methods. Huh? Set text equal to. I'll give a target. That is the element which will be uh, setting it on through. Uh, here, uh, mm, here this dot set state. Mm, here inside this, that is a form form text. I'll be setting it with the the e dot target that is a target to whatever target is the target is a, mm, the text box only actually hmm? you know value value hmm? i'm setting this value here and uh, i'll come down here set submit equal to e this is on pressing submit button it is hmm? this equal to e dot prevent f a u l t prevent default and alert alert will be this dot form sorry state dot 
form text hmm, that will be alerting on pressing this so these are th uh, three two methods and states are defined in the context js now so the, all these methods are declared inside the context js and wherever whichever component i want to use i'll use these things hmm, by calling as a consumers hmm. this is what i have written here i'll move on to the outermost is app hmm, this one is in a classical uh, uh, this one here yeah. I created a basic structure here. I'll see here. Now, what I'll do is uh, I'll have to import uh, that the context actually. Import hmm, app provider. This is a app. I'm going to import this this one here. Hmm. App provider from components slash context here. Hmm. I imported app provider here. I'll use that app provider instead here. App provider. Hmm. App provider. Hmm. Excellent. And also, I have to import that uh, form. Import form from. I did some mistake here, I think so. Hold on. I am PORT import F O R from yeah, components dot form. This one I have to import here. This is a form element form component. Here I'll keep it here. Hmm? I'll not return the form, I'll just uh, I'll write here. Hmm? Hmm? I'll just import it and keep it here. Now this is uh, more or less done. This app.js is more or less done. And I'll go to uh, text, hmm, text.js. Here, I'll say I created the basic structure. And uh, I will, uh, in text.js, text I'll import, import uh, app context. Uh, there, I imported provider in app.js. You can see I reported provider. When we are in a text.js, I am putting app, uh, this uh, app context, this one. Hmm. This one I am going to import here. Huh? Insert. Yeah, I don't want to do spelling mistakes. Hmm. Okay. From. That is uh, from context. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Now I will uh, take out all this. Come inside this. Here, what I will do is uh, I will uh, app context now here it is a consumer hmm? this is a consumer hmm? i'll look and close this app app consumer i closed it this app consumer what i'll do is uh, i'll write a code inside javascript so i put a curly brackets now i'll put a hmm, what is this uh, e6 function give a c as a variable for a context and i'll add a function i'm writing here and this arrow function will uh, return uh, uh, this thing a div hmm? so app context and then inside this arrow function this will uh, return a div that not not do in fact it will return uh, text box input type equal to hmm? type equal to text okay type equal to text here so value value the value will be served by this this context. What is the value? This is sort of what the context that is from here. That is a, this form text. This one will come here. Hmm. So see that is default value. Hmm. Hmm. For text. And uh, I have to give a on change event. Hmm. So then only it will allow me to hmm. Hmm. this on change event will also be served by C only that is context it is coming from here you can see here this is value and this one has sent now I have to give this set text hmm. Hmm. C dot set text hmm. C dot set text this is a about this and this uh, text one I will import inside form hmm. so form uh, basic structure I created and also this also import app context 
from context okay now i'll really take out this here i'm on the form i'll say app context dot consumer this is one more consumer okay i did a mistake consumer hmm. okay i enclose it consumer now i will start creating this one now here i will uh, context only i am going to put hmm. that is see this will return hmm. this will return a hmm. div with class name equal to uh, this app dot js what is the class name this one this class name i want to give it here where here class name here and close this so hmm, div. this is a parent div inside this parent div i will create a form 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 and for that you need a on submit event hmm. this submit will be c again c dot set this contact here this set submit will come here huh? set submit hmm? and close this come down close the form therefore r hmm? close the form inside this i will say and i have to import here that uh, text hmm? import import text import text hmm? from text fine here this uh, inside this i'll say text and close that now and i'll put a br segment br element here then i will say uh, input type equal to submit and close this and uh, here i will say again a br and wait a minute sorry this is error here 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 and here i'll come down and i will say put a curly bracket c dot form i want to display that form text here fine i think so with this uh, it should work if i not done any may errors now we'll see huh, whether it works huh? so on start app.js app provider does not here it is not exporting here yeah i not exported here huh? in context here what i have done export const Oh, I have not exported this C. Hmm? Hmm? That's for there. Hmm? That should okay, be okay. Yeah, it has taken some uh, uh, CSS is not working. There is some error with the CSS. We'll see. Wait. Uh, yeah, I have to. Uh, in app.js, I have to import that CSS for it. Import. Import. That uh, CSS is app dot it is the same folder that's why i have written like this it should work okay now it should work now. yeah you can see the whole functionality has come hmm. whatever i type here it will take you can see and if i press button hmm, it will alert the same so this is in pre preferred uh, context api so i hope here uh, please see this uh, tutorial two three times it is a bit confusing and uh, thank you